Welcome back everybody. This is Glockman4519. I am here with another ROM review. Uh, this ROM is Resurrection Remix um, and it is Marshmallow. Uh, it is version 6.0.1. Um, right now I'm running Nova Launcher. Uh, that's the, uh, that is my preferred launcher. Uh, it comes with the, uh, uh, with the standard AOSP launcher that comes with, uh, you know, Sonogen Mod, uh, basically all of your other, uh, AOSP ROMs, all of that. Um, uh, I do have Google Now Launcher installed on it also, uh, and I have used it. Um, all the features work on it, um, but I'm not really much into that. Uh, I use Nova Launcher, uh, and it, actually my launcher of choice is version 3.3. But anyways, back to Resurrection Remix. Uh, we're going to go to About Phone, and I'm going to let you guys see. <laughs> I don't want to go to Kernel Auditor. Uh, we're going to go to About Phone, let you guys see that this is uh, Resurrection Remix. Um, and it is version uh, Android version 6.0.1. This is for the Nexus 6. Um, I am running the uh, supplied kernel, um, and I do have it set for SE Linux permissive. Uh, that is something that you can change in the settings that are supplied. I'm not going to go and spend a lot of time in all of the settings. I will tell you guys before I go any further that this ROM, if you download the ROM and the G apps that they supply, and don't screw with it any more than that, um, this ROM will boot up for you and run. Um, I've heard a couple issues about people having problems with it uh, loading, flashing. Um, I am running this on multi-ROM. I will prove it to you. Um, as you can see, this is one of the uh, ROMs that I am running. Uh, and it is in a secondary position. And I'm having no problems with it whatsoever. So... I'm going to get back into this. Um, I cleared that up. I'm going to go right into the meat of this, which is what everybody wants to see. And, oh, by the way, um, which this is what I love about this ROM. Uh, it uses the Cyanogen Mod uh, CM13 theme chooser as opposed to layers. And if you guys watch any of my videos, you know I... I have a strong disdain for layers, at least now. Um, when they when they get when they work the bugs out of it and they get it to the point where I can install without rebooting um, and a couple other things, I'll stick with uh, I'll try layers out and you know and maybe I'll use it as a, da a daily driver. But for right now, um, I like Sonogen Mod's theme engine. Okay, we're gonna go right into configuration. Oh, and also. Um, oh, I, I'm sorry, I thought it was here. They also have the uh, uh, their own theme, and um, you can pick that up at the Play Store. They have the free version. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think it's all free. Uh, there is no pay version for it, but it's really cool. It's a really, really dark theme. Uh, the theme I'm running on this right now is just a clear theme. Uh, we're going to go into status bar settings. These are all the settings in the status bar. You have clock, battery, uh, uh, where... You go to your clock settings. Um, these are all the settings that you have. You can change the color of your clock if you so choose to do that. Um, you know, date, time, or date, uh, day, all that, all that stuff. You guys can change at will. Uh, then you have your battery settings, your your battery uh, customizations. Uh, these are the kind of batteries that uh, they supply. I was kind of hoping. I know in the first release they had. Uh, of Marshmallow, um, the three-minute battery mod was working. For some reason, I can't get it to work on this. Uh, it may be on my part, um, but I'm sure it'll get it fixed. And I think it is something that uh, at least, well, most of the big-name ROMs are going to start incorporating. That all you have to do is download um, the paid version of the uh, three-minute battery mod settings, and it will automatically come on for you. All right, let's move on. This this does have the. Uh, I'm not used to uh, doing videos this way, guys. So this does have the uh, battery bar, um, and 
this is another feature I look for in all the ROMs that I flash. Uh, I really appreciate the D for that, uh, or the developer for uh, in, uh, incorporating this into his ROM. This is a feature I think all ROMs should have. Uh, but uh, then again, that is just my opinion. And it is just that, an opinion. Um, then you have your carrier labor, uh, label. Man, I can't talk today. Uh, network trafficking, uh, resurrection... Uh, remix logo which uh, if if the, uh, the if the developer of the ROM is going to have a logo by God I'm gonna run it um, I want people to know what I'm running on my phone so that is where you turn that on on and off at um, and then uh, all your other settings for your status bar you want your super or super suit uh, indicator to show or not uh, it's all there uh, let's go into buttons. Uh, this is where you're going to change all your hardware buttons at. Um, and then now your nav button colors. Um, this does have a setting where you can change uh, the button layout. Uh, it's it's We're very used to this. You just hit edit, uh, physically touch and drag the buttons to where you want them to be. And then click save and... Bob's your uncle, you're good to go. Uh, the reason why they turned like that is because I'm running a theme, and that theme actually has that style, so it just now decided to change. All right. Under Recents, uh, you have your uh, recent search bar. Um, these are your settings. Uh, you have your recents in menu, your memory bar, whether you want it. Um, all these, all your settings for your recents tab will be here. Of course, it's supplied with uh, Slim Recents, uh, Omni Switch. Uh, they both work. I did uh, play with the Omni Switch. I, I'm not a fan of uh, Slim Recents, but I do like the Omni Switch. Uh, and I was playing around with it. It does work. Uh, although, I one thing, re, one thing I like about Lollipop and Marshmallow is this. I love this Rolodex style. Yeah, I got it. Um, I think that is the way the recents should be, uh, at least for me, and I run it that way. And also, if you notice, I'm running in full screen. That is another setting they have in here. And in order to get out of it, you just pull up from the bottom. That gives you your uh, buttons back, and we'll hit back. Those were your recent settings. Now we're going to go into the notification drawer. Um, here's where all your settings are for that. Uh, you can select your images, uh, quick pull down, task manager. When you're, uh, I like this feature here, uh, your time contextual or contextual header. Um, I always have mine set for the modern. And if you guys are not familiar with that, what that is, is see on the very top here, it gives you a real time uh, as to what time of day it is number one and what the weather is sort of so uh, of course this is dawn here in central Pennsylvania so that's why that looks like that I love this feature here are your lock screen settings uh, I really don't mess around with my lock screen too much um, I'm not there very very often <laughs> just to unlock the phone and go on so but I mean I know a lot of you like to use the features, especially uh, if you are if you listen to music a lot, uh, and those features are definitely here. I can't tell you whether or not they work. Uh, I don't use them, um, but uh, that's something you guys just need to flash the ROM and try out. All right, uh, here are your animations. You have your system animations, um, and you have toast animations. Um, you have your list view animations if you're one somebody that likes to, to mess with that. The only animation that I really like and I use are the uh, scrolling animations. And really what when I say scrolling animations, I mean scrolling mod. And what it does is speed up the scrolling. Now, I really wish that would be something that would be incorporated into this. There are some other ROMs out there that do have it incorporated in Marshmallow. And I really like that feature. Uh, let's see here. Where are we at? Gestures. 
Uh, here are your gestures. Uh, you have your gesture anywhere, your uh, app sidebar, app circle bar, and your pie controls. And pie controls do work. I, were, I was playing with that as well. Uh, although, again, I'm not a pie user, so uh, I do have that disabled. Then you have your miscellaneous. This is where you can change your SE Linux to enforcing or permissive, and I have mine set to permissive. Uh, because I am going to flash exposed module, <coughs> excuse me, uh, and I want to try out some modules to see if they uh, if they work, uh, if they play nicely with this ROM, and if I have any issues at all, I will be sure not to uh, uh, mention them uh, to the uh, uh, community because um, of running exposed. That is something that you don't do. If you have an issue, wipe the exposed off your system. Uh, and then go back to the ROM and see if you still have the problem. Uh, let's see. Uh, your warning color indicator. Uh, disable forced uh, closed notifications, which I like. Um, ad blocker. Uh, system app remover. Although I use my own app for that. Uh, but it's there if you want it. Um, and then we have your system UI tweaks. Or, but which is basically uh, what... The Marshmallow ROM first came with that setting um, where you can go into your quick settings panel um, and they have this set at where you slide right uh, to add or remove any of your uh, quick toggles. And remember the icons are not going to look like that. I am running a theme. So, but you just click the add button, decide which ones you want. This list is pretty big. I've added quite a few items. I will show you the items that I've added. Uh, and then to see the rest of the items that you added, you just slide over more. <laughs> and I have another page yet. And slide over more. As you can see, these are all the items that I've added. Also, you have your status bar where you can turn off or turn on what you want showing in your status bar. That is where you would do that at. Uh, and show embedded battery percentage. Um, I don't know what that is. I'm not going to mess with it. No, I'm just, I'm not going to mess with it. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. That's Resurrection Remix. Um, and as you can see, I am running a theme. Uh, the theme changer works great. I have had no issues with it whatsoever. Um... The default theme looks like this. If you guys really want to see what it looks like flashed. I'll show you here real quick. I'm not going to change the wallpaper though. Uh, I'm not going to change the icons neither. Um... That is your drop down. That is your settings, just so you guys can see. All right, that is it for me. Uh, I hope you guys liked um, the ROM overview. Uh, again, this is Resurrection Remix M, uh, Android version 6.0.1 for the Nexus 6. Um, you guys ought to uh, uh, head on over to the uh, XDA thread or uh, Resurrection Remix uh, Google Plus Community uh, and give their ROM a try. Um, uh, if you like the, the video, give it a thumbs up. This is a new format for me. Uh, I had to go to this because of uh, CM, uh, Sign Engine Mod, and them having a bug with uh, Screen Record. Um, the normal app that I use will not work. It, it force closes and actually reboots the device. It is not this ROM. It is Sign Engine Mod itself. Uh, hopefully they'll get that bug fixed. I can go back to doing my videos the way I normally do them. Uh, but you, I just wanted to get this video out so you guys could see uh, Resurrection Remix Marshmallow. Um, so, like I said, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If not, you know, well, it's YouTube. It is the way it is. I appreciate all my subscribers, uh, and I will see you on the next one. You guys all take care.